Richard Christensen accused Meghan of copying his brand Flamingo Estate after he refused to deal with her. Many people are speculating about what Meghan Markle's new lifestyle brand will be all about. But an insider said that it's been inspired by another Instagram perfect California brand. Meghan Markle has launched her own lifestyle brand on Instagram, but it's speculated another Californian rustic brand may have inspired her. Or in other words, she's plagiarising ideas from the brand. In the trailer that launched last week, Megan can be seen in a kitchen in a ball gown arranging flowers and stirring a pot as the song I Wish You Love by 1960s singer Nancy Wilson plays in the background. This has led to people believing that a new lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard, will be focused on cooking and US trademark applications have appeared to show that the brand will be selling cookbooks and home goods such as jellies and marmalades. Many eagle-eyed fans believe the Markle may have been copying the brand Flamingo Estate, a Californian lifestyle brand, and may even have wished to have become a partner in this business. Flamingo Estate was launched in 2020 by stylist Richard Christensen, and is a luxury goods brand that sells soaps, candles and other products from the lush orchard and dense gardens of his home and other trusted Los Angeles farmers. Celebrities such as model Chrissy Teigen have made three jams for Flamingo Estate and the company sells honey from the beehives kept by celebrities such as Will Ferrell. Even Martha Stewart has written a foreword for the Flamingo Estate cookbook. Rachel Strugatz, a writer for the entertainment website Puck News, has said Megan expressed a desire to come on as an active partner in Flamingo Estate in 2022. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Rachel added, apparently Markle and Prince Harry became such big fans that they displayed Flamingo Estate products in their home, but the brand didn't want to work with them. Rachel said that while Meghan met with the Flamingo Estate team multiple times, no deal was made. Many people call Meghan Markle an influencer because of what she posted on the TIG. Neil Sean, the Daily Mail and Family Guy all refer to her as this. In a way, she's still influencing people by making them believe in a victim narrative. However, this might still be her angle, as she has nothing left. She's not as creative as she believes she is. Why? Because she has no talent and no interest in actually doing work. Most people can't seem to grasp why Meghan's TIG brand, better known as her influencer career, is more important than being a royal. Also, does she remember getting brand deals when she was running the TIG? Does she remember joining forces with Birchbox? Also, it's been rumoured that Megan could earn up to $1 million per Instagram post. However, she'd need a ton of followers to get that amount of money for a single post. If you've been following Megan's media coverage, you'll be aware that she initially wanted to rival Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop. Why? Because Gwyneth's brand is super successful. Another celebrity brand that she wants to steal the thunder from is Jessica Alba and Honest Brand. The Fantastic Four actress has a connection to Markle through a makeup artist who happens to be Daniel Martin. Now she's coming back with a new brand to replace the TIG, but it's worked out worse than the TIG.